there guys, Portalmaster9351 here, and in this video, we are going to be doing uh, the next chapter in my Skylander Superchargers Let's Play, which is the Spell Punk Library. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Now we're going to try to run through this as quickly as we can. Um, I don't really, I've, I've been playing this already for a little while now. Um, I managed to get Bowser fully um, upgraded, and so now I believe he's at level 18, or either about to level up to level 18, so he will be uh, maxed out in terms of level very soon, so that's going to be our goal um, in this episode, is to max Bowser completely, and then we will switch to Stealth Elf, which hopefully we'll, we will have switched to her before the end of this episode, because I don't really feel like doing another episode with Bowser. Um, I did get his Soul Gem upgrade, which is nice, um, so he is at max uh, ability power, but his health is still a little bit lower than I think it needs to be for Nightmare Mode, so we're going to... We're going to upgrade, or we're going to level him up so he can get to that point. Okay, let's me skip that. That's awesome. Glad to be rid of that creep. Gave me the heebies and the jeebies in large quantities, if you follow. A spell punk library contains some of the most dangerous and uh, valuable books that have ever existed. Even if it's been abandoned, I have a feeling we might run into... I don't know why I can't skip this. Mags is putting the finishing touches on the new and renovated shop, complete with friendly proprietor. Hi there, Skylander. Welcome to the brand new Academy store. Why don't you come inside and look around? How about now? Why don't you have a look and stock up before we head out, Skylander? Meet up over by Master Eon when you're done. Alright. Barrel Blaster. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Oh, whoops, didn't mean to press that. Okay, so we gotta meet up by e Master Eon. Or actually, you gotta go to the shop first. You have to go to the shop. That's unfortunate. So he's about to become to level to become level 18, so we're getting close. And this is on hard mode right now, so... Oh, no, I have to go down. I don't know what I'm doing. I never go to the shop, because it's worthless. I just get the fastest hat available. And even then, I don't actively pursue that hat. I just, when I get it, I get it. Have you had a chance okay, to I've looked. We get new no, I haven't. Don't want to. All the time. So make sure you check back often. Speaking of How about no? Make sure you save any wing sapphires you come across. Those little babies get you. That I will do. Me, Sharp Fin's pit crew, and Miss Persephone's upgrades. Buh bah. Ah! Skylander. Skippable dialogue. If it's not in Imaginators, I'm gonna cry. I will cry. And I'll post it on YouTube for you guys to watch, because it won't be pretty. We know from Spell Slamser that the books we seek are somewhere in the halls of the ancients. But the hall is vast, and time grows short. Therefore, anyone who can possibly be spared from maintaining the Academy will be going on this mission to assist in finding these books. Chaos but what if they don't want to? All of us. This is the key to putting an end to their evil, for good. Well, I mean, I guess that is a, a good reason that we should all go. inspirational is that guy, but still it's hard to get excited about going to a library. Right, Hugo? Never mind. Yes! Thank you! Action! So I'll also be cutting this one off at like 15 minutes. I'll be cutting the clips up into segments of 15 so that I'll be able to export them into Camtasia. Look at all these books! I could stay in here forever! I don't want to spend 8 hours uploading this. How to stop the darkness and be careful! This is no ordinary library. Come on, Callie. It's just a bunch of stupid, moldy books. It's the most boring quest ever. Ah! 
I'd say that's actually not boring. It's pretty cool. Okay, good. I skipped it. Go B. So we're just gonna hurry on through this. We're not gonna like take our time or anything, because um, I think that this is a long level. I think that this is the only level that I actually had to break up into multiple segments. Centuries later, in the age of the Portal Masters, the Skylanders had become the greatest champions the world had ever known. No enemy or debris could stand before their might. But the darkness was still out there, somewhere laying in wait. I will get a couple of side items like this, but it's not like I'll be... I won't be saying no to exploring things and stuff like that. I'll, I'll be saying yes to exploring things, get it done as quickly as possible. And after shocks rumbled throughout the land, some great evil was being conjured in the arcane keep of the Spellpunks. A reading from the Book of Genesis of Skylanders. Relic that had allowed the darkness into sky and the ancients cast out the darkness, ushering in a new age of light, and where there was light, it was good, and the ancients saw it, and it was good. Or something like that, I don't know. Doing the bad guys as they do to you, I don't really know. Beat up that bad guy as that bad guy beats up yourself, I don't know. It just sounds like... I don't know, it sounds like some kind of like creation story or something like that. I mean, actually, that is exactly what this is. Essentially. Ah, I, I'm dodging back, but I need to go forwards. Alright, level 18, one step closer. Alright, I don't know why it took me out of multi ba uh, Bowser mode, but... The Skylanders fought their way through the danger, charging... Okay, new plan. Flame breath. All the time. And ignore the snowballs, you're never gonna dodge them anyways. I somehow dodged that one. It went right through me. That's a bit weird. Oh, I thought I saw something fall down there, and I thought you could go down there. Whoops. Without warning, all of Skylands began to quake, and a wave of fear swept over the land as a great and oh no, erupted from the keep. It erupted from the keep. It's like so epic of a voice. Okay, skippity skip, Callie. Look at this. We will do the various uh, zones. Charge of the first light squadron. It's about an elite squad of fighter pilots who took on the overwhelming. All right, let's do this. Skippity skip. Stealth stinger. As the power of the darkness grew, the marauding forces that served it took good. Alright, we can skip that, so that's good. Light squadron took to the skies in defiance of all odds to meet this threat head on. The darkness, underestimating our heroes, sent out a small group of fighters to crush them. Don't underestimate me. Bad idea. Let me see how upgraded this is. I can't remember. Okay, so it's almost max upgraded. It's just got one more for each. Darkness enraged at the 
squadron's continued success brought more of its armada into the battle. But the first flight squadron was undeterred. I am deterred. Consider myself deterred. I'm just gonna run over here. Oh wait, gear bits. No, I'm not gonna run over there anymore. I have no idea what that timer is supposed to mean. I guess it's... Oh, okay. I... Ah! The dark forces were relentless in their attack. Oh, okay. The whole ship is the hitbox. Usually, on like top-down versions of this, the whole, your whole ship is not necessarily the hitbox, just the center of it. Alright, come on, come on, come on, come on, take that last one out, ah, crap, alright. Take him down, take him down, ah. Another one of these. I think I'll have enough gear bits to get an upgrade after this one. Oh, and it's a uh, a mod. That's awesome for uh, Splatter Splasher. Nice. Okay, I think that's enough for an upgrade. Let's see. Yep, that's enough. I'll get the shield just since it's on the left. I mean, I don't really necessarily guess it matters if you take them down or not, if you actually are able to shoot them down. That's the thing you should really focus on, the blue one. Because that's the one with the gear bits in it and stuff. Or in this case, a power-up. So Stealth Stinger is almost maxed out, so I may do some racing at some point and try to max it out so we can have a different uh, air vehicle for the next level. All right, another blue thingy. Yield mini gear bits. May you yield mini gear bits. Ah, I missed that one. Shoot! I guess it takes time for it to get warmed up or something. I guess that's probably why it's sometimes not shooting. But the darkness was cunning and called forth the dark galleon to vanquish the squadron's hopes. That's a pretty cool name, the Dark Galleon. Hold on, I'm gonna take the blue thing down. Go! Die, blue! No! Dang it, auto targeting system! See, like on this ship, the hitbox is in the very center. You can't damage it unless you shoot it in the center. Just gonna let it do its thing and I'll just heal up. Oh, thought it was done. Alright, come on, come on. Ah, uh, whoa, 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 whoa! Why are you targeting that? Thank you. 
na 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 you can hit me you can hit me you can't hit me ah you can hit me hold on let's get a shield back This is a lot more drawn out than I thought it would be. There goes the shields again. Like, it's easy to avoid one set of missiles, but when you start trying to dodge multiple sets of missiles, it gets a little difficult. Alright, whoa! Okay, that was close. That was way too close for comfort. Invincibility. Wait. There we go. Stealth Singer is maxed, baby. Plus 48 gear bits to spare. That's awesome. So that is something that did come out of this episode. I maxed the Stealth Stinger. That is awesome. All right. So I'm going to cut this clip here, and um, I'll start back in just... All right. We're back. So, without further ado, let's keep going. Although I think there is some stuff back here, and if we could actually find some food, that would be nice, because I don't, I definitely do not want to die. Okay, well, there's some money. It's not like we need that right now. because uh, he's maxed and stuff. More money. Is that food over there? Let me go through the, wait. No, that's rubble. Ah, crap. Oh, and I take damage on hard mode when I fall. That's right. Okay, so that doesn't bode well. If Bowser dies, I'll just be putting, um, I'll just be putting, ah, it's money. You know what? I'm just going to do Battle Brawl Island at some point on my own and just switch into Stealth Elf because there's no reason that Stealth Elf needs to be missing out on this money. She's missed out on like a thousand gold, so that could have been used to upgrade her abilities, so definitely don't want that. And she's supercharged anyways. That's even better. Nah! Okay. Carefully. 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 Okay. I like the ability to get a speed boost. Well, there's some food, but I, just, I won't bother switching back in. There's no reason to. Lock on, please. Oh, it doesn't lock onto these things. That's That's okay. Okay, I see how it is. I know I said I wouldn't explore, but now that I have Stealth Elf in instead of Bowser, it makes more sense, because uh, she can actually get money. Hey Skylander, you gotta see this book. Looks like this one here talks about... Radio. come back. Hold up, I... Uh, I think that might be the land racing pack, or the, not racing pack, but the, uh, the land racing one. I'm not 100% certain, or maybe, maybe you have to do that one, and then the land one unlocks. I'm not 100% sure. I guess that's the next one I'm supposed to do. Or, sorry, I'm talking about the, I mean, C. I want, I'm trying to get to the C level. Okay, so I just need to turn that one off, because I don't need to get all three sparks. Okay, so I can get to it now. Oh my gosh. Can I get to it? Maybe. Alright, there we go. There's no need to get to all of them just because um, I've already ranked up to level 75 and stuff. And so I actually did take a Portal Master build, um, at least in terms of the Portal Master rank abilities, um, to... Aw, oh man, just Stardust? Okay. Um, to basically support... Um, what I'm doing, which is fully maxing all my characters, fully upgrading, level 20, all that stuff. Um, and it, because it gives them a bon a health bonus. And I mean, it's a considerable health bonus. It's like one-fourth of their total health or something like that. I'm not sure the exact math, but it is quite a lot of bonus. Get this. All 
right. The darkness knew the core of light would be its end, and so it attacked. Its dark power. Oh no! Comprehension. It's you attacked. No! The core of light must stay hidden. Undaunted, even what the? This great evil, the sky okay, no, that's not gonna work. All right, gonna go there and then dive back down. It's hard to use her because she is really designed uh, to be a highly mobile character, and um, in a in a two D platforming. Thing, it's very hard to be mobile and actually dodge abilities and stuff, so really I'm thinking that this is probably the best strategy. Just put up a turret and run away. Oh, I should probably move out of the way. Okay, well, at least I didn't fall. I don't like platformers, to be completely honest. I'm not good at platformers and stuff. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. There we go. Ah! Dang it. Oh, I need to take the life one out. Oh, hold on. Bounce. There we go. Ah! Okay. Bounce. 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 I just dis- I pressed the disappear button! Run! My gosh! I am- Ugh! Oh, okay. That- that- that's annoying. I- that should not have happened. Hold on. I've got another one in here, so let me throw- let me throw a Raptor on. Note to self, do not use Stealth Elf in this level. Stealth Elf, without a doubt, will be used in the Realm of the Undead. Fiesta will probably never, ever be used. Ever. Okay, let me re-familiarize myself with Lava Lance Eruptor. The only time I think I used him um, was when I was, like, collecting some experience reward from the uh, Elemental Racing Zones in the Academy. So I don't think he's actually got any upgrades. So he's not dealing much damage. <sighs> what the heck? Okay, you know what? We are just going to leave that alone because I cannot get to that life spell punk um, for that uh, water spell punk. And then, after a long journey, the lost that makes me mad, to be completely honest. Had been reached. The radiant purity of the core of light had been found. I'll probably be using High Vault on this level because of his shield. I can just walk in with his shield in one direction and not have to worry about anything because the attacks will only be coming from two directions. So he's got like 50% coverage. Oh, no, no, no. I don't want to do this. Duh. Alright. Okay, hold on. Let me figure out exactly what these abilities are doing. Okay, so that's a series of lance attacks. Okay, so it's pretty self-explanatory. I was just making sure I wasn't missing anything, because sometimes they have additional abilities that they don't tell you about. And, of course, they just go goes and undoes everything that I just did. Okay. Spearhead them. Alright. Oh, you can't get to that yet. I didn't want to get that. I thought I would go under them. Ah, I'm trying to jump out of there. It's not working. Okay, let me take this guy out. 
They're kind of tanking for him. Oh, gosh. Come on. I'll just jump on him. Jump. 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 All right. Awesome. Ah! Go! Go! On top! Take out the caster. It's a good idea. Awesome! Oh, there's still one left. Atop a pile of his defeated foes. I don't see a pile anywhere. Note to yourself. Use a pen name on this story. Okay, well, unfortunately I didn't want to do this little side mission thing, but uh got sucked we got sucked into a story. Okay, we've got Persephone, but I don't know if I've got actually enough to... Okay, didn't think so, but I probably will after this pile. Awesome! So that'll probably get me that uh, first upgrade, which I assume is my third move. Okay. Yes! So the order will be... Um, I will be uh, finishing up Bowser, finishing leveling him up. Um, and after, after that, I will, um, move on to Stealth Elf. Uh, what the? And after Stealth Elf, I will, um, move on to Eruptor, of course, obviously. I have no sense of depth perception, apparently. Okay. I'm gonna throw on Dive Bomber. Not sure how a Raptor is able to get in this thing, but... But whatever! Servants of the darkness were known for keeping a... Take out the Hydra! Heedless of danger, dove into the shadowed and endless depths of the sea to face the Hydra. Alright. But the lair of this Hydra was fraught with peril... Ah! Now you tell me. How far upgraded is this? Okay, so it's three fifths of the way. Ah, I tried to shoot it, but it didn't work out. Alright, and dangerous creature in this deep sea. Ravenous Hydra hatchlings in coiled in the Oh no, not ravenous hydra hatchlings. Without warning. See, I think Part of the problem here was like, I, I would have known that those were mines, I would have remembered that those were mines, um, but there's actually a, an audio delay coming through my headphones, um, which is one of the other reasons that I want to actually get a microphone. Uh, dang it! I want to get a proper microphone, not unlike what United Skylanders America has. Probably that same microphone, actually. That same type of microphone. Um... So I'm about, I've made about 60 bucks off YouTube at this point, and um, so I have kind of calculated it out, and I'm expecting to be able to get about 100 bucks um, by December, um, and then I will get paid. So you get paid every $100, um, and I'm probably going to take that money um, and invest it in one of those microphones. So those microphones are about uh, 120 to 130, depending on where you get it from. So um, they have a black edition. Um, I just like the black better than the like the space gray. Um, 
I prefer, in general, I don't really like gray, to be completely honest. I would much prefer the, um, the nice, smooth, black look. Um, anyways, I'm, I'm Mike-sist. That's what I am. Um. So, uh, hold up. So yeah, I want to invest, I want to invest my money in one of those microphones. I'm not supposed to shoot him. Deuce Ex Machia! Which is like... The, the convenient plot point. A passageway opens. I can just brush by these mines without much worry. Because they don't explode. They explode on a delay, so... See, I think it makes sense to take that money that I've earned off of YouTube and further invest it in YouTube. I think that it's a great way to give back to you guys because um, I am, I mean, in order to get that money, it's basically you watching ads is you paying to see this content, essentially. So it only makes sense to take that money and then invest it in this channel. And I think that getting a microphone to do Let's Plays with is definitely going to help. All right, so we've got the Sea Star. That's nice. And so we will now move on to the Land Star. Oh, hi, Skylander. I'm so I'm actually going to cut it here, and I'll come right back in a second, and we'll do this. All right, so we're back, and this should be the third and final segment of this particular episode. Um, I doubt that it'll be another 15 minutes um, before we're done with this. I, I don't think there's anything after the land zone, as there usually is not anything after it. So, we'll see. Yeah, I, I don't think there's anything after this. Oh no! So I'm trying to get my cousin into Skylanders. He's like, he's still a little too young for Skylanders, really. I gave him, we have a five below in our town. We just got, I should probably take care of these things. We just got a five below in our town, and they've got quite a few triple packs from Swap Force and Giants, uh, you know, for five bucks. So they were really cheap. So I bought him for his birthday, like two triple packs, one from Giants, one from uh, Swap Force. It was the, one had, the Giants one had Series 2 Stump Smash in it, and the Swap Force one had Star Strike in it. So he doesn't actually have the game or anything like that. Um, he's just got, um, as of right now, he's just got six figures, and I'm just trying to get him familiar with the characters, and then when he's old enough to actually play the game, I'm hoping that he'll, he'll play. I think that'd be really cute. If, I, if you've seen the picture on Instagram before of... Um, of me and a little kid uh, with holding a Stormblade. That's my cousin that I'm trying to get into Skylanders. It's not like I was some random kid. Although, I think I captioned... I think I put in the caption that it was my cousin, so... Yeah, I had a weird... I had a really weird-looking creeper face on... Uh, that day. So I, I looked really weird in that picture. Um, and the guy who made my channel art, uh, Skyjap, he actually made me a thumbnail for my three-year anniversary live stream. And there's a face in there. There's actually two pictures of me in that thumbnail. And one is me from three years ago. And one is me from the day that I was in the Walmart with my cousin. And um, and he, he took that picture. So I've got like this this like three years younger me face. And then I have the uh, creeper face from... A few months ago, so it's kind of funny. Skippity skip. All right, so we are done with this level. So um, I do think that I can get a, an upgrade or two for Stealth Elf. I'm not 100% certain, so I'll let it go ahead and go back to the academy and see what upgrades I can get. Humphrey LaFosse Bottom! Is right. 
Such a fun name to say. If any living being knows how to complete the course, well, I got done with that in like 30 minutes. So 30, like, it's probably like 35 minutes is what we're at now. Maybe a little bit more with the intro, although that's only like 15 seconds. So I don't know for certain. Nah, yeah, they'll be okay. Nah, yeah, they'll they'll be okay. I I think they'll be fine. Takes it from zero to holy guacamole, faster than faster than any other vehicle. That voice crack though. All right, skippity skip. Whoa, that looked like a pretty hard landing. Nice hat. How about no? To examine the book we got from the Spellpunk Library for leads on Pomfrey's whereabouts. Oh, you do now. Okay. Well, fine. All right. If you say so. Not 100% sure what uh, air vehicle will go to next. Um, he actually doesn't have enough for an upgrade, so um, I'll swap into Super Shot Stealth Elf. See if I can get any upgrades, and then I'll do my little sign-off thing. Let's see. Okay. So she's on her path. That's right. But I didn't know which to take. Let me refamiliarize myself with what upgrades there are. Okay, so create a poison cloud when you exit stealth mode. Uh, dagger cannon projectiles do long... Okay, that's nice. They splinter off enemy... Dan or they splinter off enemies and hit... Enemy enemies. Okay. So that, that will work equally well on either path. See, that's a lot of the times how I decide what path I go on. Um, I look at the soul gem, and if it complements one particular path, I take that one. So on expiration, turret explodes. Turret now aims. Okay, this is really what I need. I need it to actually auto-aim for me. Um, I was playing um, a little bit before, and um, the problem with Stealth Elf is this. So, um, if I'm trying to target somebody big, like this dummy, let's just pretend. So, I, I take this down, and I, I go, and I back up, and I'm, like, dodging stuff. And then as soon as I need to make a turret, I have to lift up and press that. And so, I, I cannot physically do it fast enough to make it, like, it's always going to go like that. Or, sorry, press the wrong button. I, I keep pressing the wrong button. Do it again for me, please. So yeah, like, it's never going to aim correctly. So this should, um, that path will allow me to pick an upgrade to let it auto-aim. I don't have enough for it, though. That'll probably be the first upgrade on that path I get. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much all for now. I do hope you enjoyed this episode of the, uh, my Let's Play of Skylander Superchargers. Um, I don't know if Gadfly Glades is next. I'm thinking it's probably next since uh, that is where Pomfrey is held, but I'm not 100% certain if that is where we will um, go next. I'm not sure if we have to find out. But anyways, the point is is that next time we'll be doing the next chapter that comes after the Spellpunk Library. So do uh, stay tuned on my channel for that. This has been Portalmaster9351. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!